Hey everyone, I just want to make an update from my last video talking about Control Net. This tech is advancing so fast and sometimes it's hard for me to keep up with all the new additions and everything that's going on. I want to thank HyderGZ. He commented on my video and he mentioned that if you update Stable Diffusion, you can generate more than one model for Control Net. And as you can see here, I have one, two, three Control Net models that I can generate. And I can use, for example, Canny here and then I can use another model here. I can use open pose here if I want. And I mean, I don't know if you add too many, I don't know what kind of results you're gonna get, but essentially you can add some more to get a little bit more control of your final output. So the way you can do this is just make sure you have the latest version of control net and then apply and restart, go into your settings, go into control net. And then down here it says multi control net max models amounts requires restart. You just put the amount. I'm just going to put two for now, apply settings and then reload UI. And then you should have the amount that you set. I have not messed around with it enough yet to know what it's capable of. And, but I did want to mention it because this is such a great addition and uh, like adds so much more control. I uh, haven't had a chance to really look into all the updates that have been happening just because of the recent events that happened in my life, but I'm definitely back to creating content, whether it's AI or visual effects, I will be uploading more frequently now. So also um, I updated my last video. The models that I originally used for that video were way bigger than the models that are available now. I updated the link to have the more smaller size models so that you can use with ControlNet. So thank you so much for watching. See you guys later.